Hey guys, how you doing? MDW back again. I uh, hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I thought I'd share with you today one of the presents I got on Christmas Day. So this is an older Hot Toys figure. It was originally released when The Force Awakens first came out. So it's the First Order Flame Trooper. Um, so I'm just going to put a review out there guys because I say a lot of you probably have seen this figure already. There's had a lot of reviews on the internet for it but I'm just going to put my thoughts on it. I still think it's a great figure and with the kind of sudden uh, resurgence of The Last Jedi which we didn't get to see him in that, unfortunately. But uh, Battlefront, I love playing these guys in Battlefront. They're so much fun. Bit crap, but they're so much fun. I thought I'd just crack this guy open and do a quick review for you. So, stay tuned. Guys, welcome back. So, we're going to quickly run down the box. I like all Hot Toys figures. It comes with this lovely, sleek black box image of the figure on the front of the Star Wars logo and then on the back it's just got the details of the company that made the figure, all the sculptors and all that jazz. Crack the box open and you get a wonderful image of the figure inside with loads of kind of like special effects all around it. So we've got all the flames there, a couple of the other troopers down the bottom there using their flamethrowers, Kylo Ren's ship coming down there in the village scene at the start of Force Awakens, and then there we go, there's a look at the figure inside, so like with all the, uh, the Hot Toys figures, they come in the kind of clear packaging just to protect them all, very good solid packaging, so you won't get in trouble there, if damage transit or anything like that, there we go, okay, so go open this guy up now, we'll have a closer look at him, right away, so figure out the box now, let's take a closer look at him. So the Flame Trooper doesn't have a lot of articulation. So the Hot Toys figures are renowned for you know, their movement and posability. The First Order Storm Troopers and now with the Flame Troopers as well, straight away, you're not going to get a lot of movement with them. Now I'll tell you why. Basically a lot of the time is because their armour plates um, hold, you know, push together to stop them from moving. But also as well, I don't know if you guys can see this, but their undersuit is almost like you know, leather material so it doesn't it's not very flexible or stretchy so the stormtroopers have you know kind of material undersuit which allows for a lot more flexibility but i mean you guys can even hear that moving there doesn't really kind of flex that much the material and then that coupled with the armor you know quite a lot of armor on these guys doesn't allow for much movement but i knew this from the start you know this guy just looks great the, the reason why i got the flame trooper i love the design very sleek, fits in very well with the rest of the First Order forces, but they do look very different as well. So their armor set is even different. So let's run down the articulation quickly. So his head moves up and down, left and right down, you know, all over the place, so that's no worries there. His arms, again, you're probably only gonna get them to go up to about this high, there we go. So, you know, they're all articulated underneath. So just think of like these Hot Tools figures as literally like a hyper-articulated action man, pretty much has been dressed up. So he's got the movement there, he can go forward a little bit, probably not back that much. So it's literally up and down really is kind of all his arms can do. I mean, they're not moving forward at all there at the shoulder. His arms at the elbow, they have this bit of kind of ribbon. So that's good there. So you can literally move his arms a lot more. So they twist from side to side and they go up and down. And then his hands are rotated 360 degrees, which obviously you can remove the hand, which I'll show you in a bit. The good thing about it also is these are these armor pieces here, you guys, you can see are all loose, so you can move them around. So that really does help the movement of the arm articulation. Torso crunch doesn't really have one because this massive armor plate here, it's all kind of one piece. Doesn't really swivel that much either. You're not gonna get that. And there's no waist swivel really either. Then his legs, pretty much you know, non-existent movement, so they kind of go forward a little bit. You guys can see that. They don't really go back at all either. He does a splits a little bit, but that's about as far as you get. Then his knees has got that ribbon on it again, so you can literally bend the knee there. But this armor kind of hinders that, and so does this bit here. Yeah, you can twist his leg a little bit as well. Same with the other knee. And then this long bit of armor here as well obviously hinders the foot movement. It does obviously rotate. And actually there's a little bit of kind of material here, so you can actually rotate the foot above this armor piece. So that's quite cool and then the foot goes up and down a little bit as well. So, like I said, very limited. This is probably one of the least agile Hot Toys figures that I've found, that and the first Order Stormtrooper, but the actual detail of the figure itself is superb. So I'm gonna give you a quick height comparison. So with the first Order Stormtrooper here, the Flame Trooper stands at around about 12 inches, just over 12 inches, 
I think the same with the First Order Stormtrooper, I think he's a little bit taller. But you guys can see the difference in the armour as well. So rather than just getting a complete, you know, you can get the First Order Stormtrooper with Heavy Blaster, yada yada, which is kind of the same sort of sculpt in the armour set. You can see here the comparison between the two armour sets is quite different. And that's what sets out the Flame Trooper as an individual piece. Okay, so let's run down the First Order Flame Trooper's armour design. Again, really nice difference from the First Order Stormtrooper. He's got this kind of single slip visor here. And he's got this kind of you know, silver painted on breathing apparatus there at the top of his helmet. The breastplate is all different. The pieces are attached to this breastplate. So just like with Captain Phasma we saw, there's like his shoulder pads are actually attached to part of the breastplate. Loads of detail on his belt across the way there. So he's got this really nice pouch, uh, pouch detail attached to the belt, which is a separate piece, which you can hook on and move around his belt, which is cool. He's got no grenade on the back there, so we'll show you what this is in a minute. This is where his backpack will go. He's got a few other bits that move, so he hasn't got a holster for a pistol on his body there, but he's got kind of these small little grenade -y bits on a rubber strap, which you can move around. Nice little bit of detail. So yeah, overall, you know, the, the figure is a really different compared to the First Order's other Stormtroopers, which definitely makes it worth a purchase in my book anyway. You know, if it was the same sort of figure, then perhaps I'd understand why people wouldn't want it, but he does look pretty different. So let's talk accessories. The Flame Trooper does come with some. He has got a set of hands. So just like with all Hot Toys figures, there are several different poses. He's got the open hand pose. He's got a couple of clenched fist poses there, and he's got one with a trigger finger, so as if he's kind of firing his flamethrower. So there we go, pack it of them. You get the flamethrower itself. So I'll have a little look at this in a second, but again, really nice gun, really nice design for it. It's got the sign of the same white and black plastic, shiny, um, you know, gloss plastic that the armor has, so that fits really nicely with it. Some cool paint job on it as well. It's got the silver bits picked out on there. It's got a couple of red buttons on there. Yeah, you know, so really decent. You know, it's kind of just a kind of you know a uh, hollow piece of plastic, no weathering or anything on it. So it just looks like it's brand new out the factory. And then you've got kind of the brassy nodules at the end there with a the flame and the gas ignite. Get that with him. His backpack comes with him as well. This is an awesome piece. It's absolutely massive. Really good detail around. Like, look at this. Absolutely super. Look, real chain on it for the gas. Really great. You know, how many times have I said, oh, I wish I had a chain on something like the Darth Vader figure or. Yeah, really cool to see that on the first sort of flame trooper. But he's got loads of little bits as well. So he's got even the like, pressure gauge at the top there, all painted up. He's got a red warning light. Really, really excellent. He's got a bendable pipe as well that you can attach to the gun. So yeah, that's a really nice piece. I was really chuffed with that. Absolutely amazing. And it adds so much to the figure. He's so bulky and big when you put it on him. And then lastly you get, really nice little accessory, is some flames, a jet of flame coming out. So this is again made clear plastic with the orange through it and then right at the end here it's kind of almost got a bit of a blue tint to it as well you guys see the gas igniting and then you know it's clear the white hot flame coming out to like the more you know orangey flame at the end so yeah this replaces the end of the gun i was really chuffed to get this because you know i don't know if you guys have seen the coach of figure of the flame troops come out it's a massive jet of flame you get with it and it adds so much narrative to the figure one of my favourite things is how the backpack attaches to the figure. It's all done by magnets. When I took them out of the box, I thought, how does this attach? Oh my God, please be magnets. And it does. It hooks on the bottom there. There's a little grill that it puts on and then it just magnetises to his back. It's a big magnet. It's solid. It doesn't move. Just like all Hot Toys figures as well, the hands just pop off and then you just literally put the peg on the new hand and push it in place. There's the pipe, so it's fully flexible, and you just literally push it into the gun. sits nicely in place. And then the jet of flame, you just literally pull off the end of the flamethrower, and then match up the pegs and put the flame jet in. It doesn't make the gun that particularly heavy. You can feel the weight on it, but it still doesn't make the gun move or drop in any way. As with all Hot Toys figures, you get a great display base, the First Order logo, and then the name of the figure with the Star Wars logo on the front. And then it's got this peg at the back which fits into place. It's got a spring which is adjustable on the back. So you can literally just, that hooked over your, your figure and you just stand in place, stops him from moving. There we go guys, there's a review and look at the Hot Toys First Order Flame Trooper. I was sat debating about getting this guy for absolutely ages. I got him for a snip on eBay at £100. Absolutely superb price. They are on there so keep an eye out. The armour 
and the overall design of the figure is so different from the First Order Troopers that I think it's definitely worth a pick up and just add it to your collection. It's such a bulky figure with the backpack on as well and the flamethrower is a really good design with the flame accessory which you can attach in a nice little touch as well. Look, we all know the quality of these figures now and this is a real treat. If you haven't got it, I'd recommend getting one. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching everybody and thanks for all the new subscribers I've had over the last couple of weeks. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up so you spread the love and please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the new year. I've got a couple more reviews coming out. I've got some First Order Snow Trooper Hot Toys and Bosk to review as well in my little stash. So I'll see you in my next video. MDW signing off. Happy New Year. Find MDW on Facebook and Instagram now at MDW underscore toys.